Number 112. Rhydon, the drill Pokemon. Rhydon's horn can crush even uncut diamonds. One sweeping blow of its tail can topple a building. This Pokemon's hide is extremely tough. Even direct cannon hits don't leave a scratch. When has Rhydon been used in, like, warfare? Is it like war elephants or something like that? How do they know that a direct cannon hit won't injure a Rhydon? There is no ethical way you can perform <laughs> that experiment. Who, who said anything about ethical, Ange? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, it's the Pokemon universe. Yeah, I don't think that ethics has anything to do with it. Uh, so what was your first impression here? Meh. Meh. I'm not that impressed. I, I guess it has a unicorn horn and it looks pretty happy, but also, I don't know. Nothing sticks out for me with this Pokemon. The horn does stick out. The horn sticks out, but like in a very physical and literal way. <laughs> what about the spikes on its back? Eh, I can't really see those in the picture that we've got here. <laughs> Fair enough. I do like that it kind of has a, a rat-like segmented tail, but... It sure does. They liked that design thing in the first generation of just drawing lines on the thing to show that there are segments. Yeah, but other than that, I'm not so sure. It kind of has like bony ridges, like a triceratops or something. That's pretty nice. What do you think? My word for this Pokemon was kaiju. Kaiju? Yeah, I think that it's meant to be a bit of a, a kaiju. You know, it's like it can topple buildings with its tail, its hide is extremely tough, cannons can't hurt it, Yeah. presumably guns can't hurt it. I think it's just like, you know, a little kaiju you can keep in your pocket. <laughs> now, I don't think it's as tall as something like Godzilla, mm. but... I think it's like a sized down version, you know. This is the rock and ground type of Godzilla. Yeah, it's a Godzilla you can take to your family. You know? <laughs> yeah, a Godzilla I, you can take home with you. I think that's beautiful. A Godzilla, a ride on is a forever pet. <laughs> I also, I gotta say, I love the Generation 1 Pokemon that are just like, well, it's a dinosaur and it's a monster. And we just took a dinosaur and some general monster concepts and put them together. It's, like, it's not anything in particular. Yeah. <laughs> just a bunch of angry looking parts, yet weirdly cuddleable. Like. <laughs> yeah. This thing's gonna make a great plush toy. Yeah. Yeah. It's also just so much better than its evolution, Rhyperior. If you're gonna be a Pokemon with Superior, like, I'm the superior version of Rhydon. It's just a lie. I'm you sorry. Be better. <laughs> so I gave this Pokemon three and a half out of five stars. Hmm. I think I'm going to give it two and a half stars. That brings us to a total of six out of ten for Rhydon. Next! Next.